I'm Shale and this is the Modular Flower Pots Mod Showcase. And for this mod showcase I am also using too many items and Optifine and well plant mega pack to show that every plant of this mod is compatible with modular flower pots. Alright, so what are modular flower pots? Basically there are pots that are bigger than the one Minecraft prov um, provides us with. Uh, here you can see the comparison and as you can see uh, the flower uh, has not changed its size. Uh, it's still the same. Uh, though of course uh, you can place bigger things like uh, saplings or bigger flowers inside the bigger pots instead of just little flowers. Alright, so let's get to the crafting. So first of all uh, we need row pots and for that you need either seven uh, pieces of, uh, I mean seven blocks of uh, clay or one block of clay and a pottery table which I will tell, about, tell you about in a second. And out of these seven, you will get three raw large, large flower pots. Um, yeah, and then to make uh, a hardened clay pot, you need to uh, use seven blocks of hardened clay or uh, take your uh, already crafted uh, raw flower pot and burn it in the furnace. Uh, out of these seven you will also get three and when doing it with the furnace you will get it one to one uh, it's f darkness is falling uh, all right so to make a pottery table you need a crafting table and a piece of clay that's how you do it and as I've said already uh, it makes crafting uh, the the large pots far cheaper than it is uh, in the normal crafting table. Then another item uh, is the soil test kit, which you craft out of uh, two empty glass bottles and green and red dice in this exact order. Uh, then another thing that this mod, what are you doing here? <laughs> another thing that this mod adds are these beautiful fences uh, which you make out of posts and to make a post you need to use uh, a piece of wood and an axe the axe is getting slowly damaged uh, I mean a little bit damaged uh, in the process though it's not consumed uh, wholly uh, only a little bit and uh, if you use different kinds of wood you will get different kinds of posts which is kind of logical uh, there's also another uh, crafting recipe for that and that is two locks uh, instead of just one lock and an axe uh, but since it conflicts with Tinker's construct uh, this might, might be removed in the future so I chose not to show that one, just this one. Alright and then from the posts if you take two posts and uh, two pieces of, uh, of thread, no it's string, uh, two pieces of string you will get an oak wood post, fe uh, post fence. This one. Get away from here. Alright, so pottery table. Uh, it looks like this. I'm not really sure what these slots are for. But uh, here is where you place the main uh, well, block you want to use. And here is the additional slot. And here you receive your uh, item that's ready to use. Uh, Alright, so if you put uh, a block of clay, you will get uh, a raw clay pot. Then if you if you put a raw clay pot and use the stamp in here, uh, stamps can be found in dungeons, mine shafts, strongholds, just wherever uh, your Minecraft game has created some uh, chests for you to find things in uh, or dealt for with villagers uh, and yeah the, uh, if you use the stamp you can get a patterned pot uh, and if you take your already hardened pots and uh, a die of of just whatever die you wish for uh, you will get 
a dyed, well, colorful uh, clay pot. This is blue, actually. That's how blue looks. Uh, that's that's what Minecraft made it. Uh, the colors are uh, according to the standard uh, hardened clay, har hardened colored clay from Minecraft. So that's why it's blue. All right, but to get these ones that is both patterned and colored you need to follow the order make a, cl uh, a clay pot then use the stamp on it uh, then put it in your furnace to make it hard <laughs> and then after after that you can put it here uh, use the dye and have a colorful one all right but when you place them i mean the pots they are empty inside uh, and basically, there is usually only one. Um, let's get it. Actually, we'll get just black one. If we'll pl if you place it, there's one that's empty inside. You can jump in. And if you place another, they will join together. Of course, you can't place it on top of flowers. Making a bit of a sandbox here. Uh, which you can then fill with dirt or sand, for example. dirt sand as you can see uh, if the feelings are different the uh, the wall will, will form between them and if not it won't <laughs> all right um, and only oh actually we can't play this place this one row row pots do not work all right let's just get here and let's get a pink one and different colors will not join. Uh, same goes for different patterns, as you can see, well, for example, here. Well, it's... it's Alright, let's get the same color. <laughs> that, that's white, yeah. As you can see, it didn't join. Oh, we'd probably need to fill it with... Oh, actually, it did join, even though the pattern is not... Alright, so patterned and not patterned join together, but they have to be the same color. Alright, so uh, as I've said, you can put different things inside, like dirt. Uh, here I'm showing you that the plants from Plant Mega Pack work with this mod. Uh, but you can also put water inside or puddle with vegetables. That's an excuse for keeping your farm at home. Alright, so the deal with water is that you can put things on top of water that are normally able to be put on, on the water, on the surface. And actually your movement is not slowed at all, so you can just walk freely as if you weren't in water. Alright, so the last thing I need to show is what this is about. And this is a sol soil test kit. And let's say you live in mountains and you want to have a beautiful garden that's actually full of uh, flowers that are only from the jungle. Let's say you're having the plant mega pack and there are these, these biome uh, particular, uh, well, plants that only grow in certain biomes. biomes biomes yeah uh, and let's say you want a jungle plant in your forest uh, environment so what you need to do is make the soil like the jungle one so right click the soil i mean the ground here and now as you can see uh, this stopped being uh, the soil test kit and now it's a used soil test kit and it's only single use when it's a soil kit, but it's never ending when it's an unused soil kit. And you can apply it to dirt inside the, uh, <laughs> the pots here, so that they will, uh, the dirt will become just like the, the dirt in plains, jungle, whatever. So that you, can pl you could plant uh, other, other, well, um, <laughs> other plants that are only uh, available in these biomes. And you can check 
that this is actually temperature 1.8 and uh, um, 0.8 and 0.40 point, 0.80 and 0.40 uh, the rainfall is 0.40 uh, so that's that's the planes um, and if you get too many items no actually not too many items here uh, in creative you can get the soil test kits for other biomes but you'd probably need to guess which one is which Alright, so that's it for this mode. Uh, it's really cool, especially for making a big garden and especially if you have uh, another mode like uh, Plant Megapack installed and you want to keep all your beautiful plants nearby even though they are from the jungle and you live on the desert. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that, that's it. Thank you for watching this showcase. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you have any further questions, just ask me in the comment section below or send a private message and I will try to answer uh, and help you with all the problems you have. So again, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!